Hi everybody and welcome to this two minute tying tutorial. The pattern that I've chosen to tie today is the WD-40. This is an absolute fish catching pattern. I'm tying this on at size 20 scud hook today. I have a tungsten bead already tied on, but that is something that you do not necessarily need. And I'll actually show you an example of a pattern that does not have one on at the very end. Um, I do have a few modifications to this pattern. Um, the first one is that I'm going to be tying in uh, Coke de Leon. This is CDL for the tailing fibers and for that uh, wing case. So I'm putting them on right now. I'm going to just re really be building up the body with my tying thread, which is a brown thread. I'm going to be tying those fibers in really far down the bend of the hook. I really want to get those pushed in the whole way, the, the whole way down. Thus, they really they look like a, an insect that's kind of curling up in a very vulnerable position. That will be one of the triggers of this fly. As I said before, I just have a very um, a slight taper going forward into the body. I want to build up near the head of this fly a little bit more. Uh, so as I get closer to the head and the thorax, I am going to be building it up just a little bit with the thread. If you see those feathers sticking out, that is the Coque de Leon. I've left those feathers tied in because I'm going to be using those for the wing case of this fly. This is an extremely simple pattern with really everything you need shown right there with the exception of the dubbing. I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the beginning. I tie this the whole way down to size 24. This will represent midges. Um, I'll start tying this kind of size 18s. That's pretty much the largest that I'll go. All right, I've just pulled those CDL fibers back. I lock those in place because those are going to be my wing case. I'm just grabbing some dark brown SLF squirrel dubbing. Just a pinch, just to build up a, a nice dark head. I may have just a little bit too much there. I'm just going to pull a little bit of that off if I can get it off there. And that's all I need. I'm going to bring my Coke de Leon fibers forward. Lock those in place with just a few wraps. Put one wrap in front. I put a little half hitch. Let me get those out of there. All right, they're gone. All right, let me finish this off with a little whip finish. Then I'll go over the fly and then show you one without the tungsten bead. All right, so this is the finished WD-40. This is a chocolate brown fly. Let me use my little, uh, my new little tool here I got from Don over at Keystone Fly Rod Company. Thank you, Don, for my great little bodkin here. So I'll just illustrate this pattern again. I do have a tail that's tied for, with the Coke de Leon. It's going down the, the bend of the hook. I have a body that is nothing more than um, the brown thread, a chocolate brown thread. I have a wing case that is tied out of the CDL Coke de Leon fibers, and then my uh, the head and the thorax is mainly just the SLF squirrel, and that's the gist of this fly. I do have a tungsten bead on the front. All right, let me pull this out, and I sh will show you one without a bead. Just so you have an idea, I'll kind of slant this in so you can see the tail as well. But here is one without a bead. You can see some of the fibers just shooting forward, but don't worry about that. So these two flies are examples of the WD-40, an absolute fish-catching nymph. Uh, thanks for viewing this two-minute fly tying tutorial. Feel free to leave any comments directly on this YouTube page, or you can email me at tkamisa at gmail.com. Thank you, everybody.